Hey everyone, so this is going to be my favorite products of 2011 or my most used products of 2011. Um, I'm kind of sick right now, so if I sound kind of funny, that's why. This I'm just going to kind of jump right into because I don't want it to take forever. Um, and it's I've just really honestly narrowed it down as much as I can. So if you guys want me to do a like whole beauty product um, favorite thing like as in like lotions and um, face washes and just things like that, um, le let me know in the comments below because I'll kind of get something together and do that. But this is strictly just makeup products um, and so I'm just going to jump right into it and kind of get through it quickly and I'm not going to go through and explain everything a lot. I'm just going to kind of generally give you an idea of what it is, why I like it and so okay. So I'm just going to get brushes like makeup brushes out of the way and I'm going to show you guys um, what makeup brushes I reach for every day and that I cannot live without. So I have everything sitting right here. So if that's why I'm like getting closer to the camera, that's because I'm reaching for this stuff. But, um, so the first brush I have here is, this is my MAC 187. And this is a special edition one. That's why it is gold and shorter. Uh, I love, love, love this for foundation. I, I didn't use this for foundation for the longest time. But I found that it really gives you a flawless look and it applies your foundation really well. And then this is the MAC 168 Special Edition as well. And this is the um, Angled Blush Brush. And I am obsessed with this thing. I use it to contour. And um, it's just it just applies blush and um, bronzer and stuff really well. So I really like that. And then I have, this is an Eyes, Lips, Face Powder Brush. And this is like the most popular brush probably Eyes, Lips, Face has. Just because it's been talked about a lot. Um, but this is their powder brush and it's a flat top. Um, and this is a really nice brush. Um, brush if you like want to kind of clean up your eyeshadow and go like that and kind of clean it up. It's also really good for applying powder um, and it's good for applying powder under the eyes and just if you want to like kind of blend anything out. Um, then I have the Eyes Up's Face Blush Brush and I don't actually use this for blush. I actually use this for highlighter so I'll take like I'll dip it into my highlighter and then I'll just kind of brush it on right there and kind of do the C motion and just apply highlighter with it. The last brush I have here is this is a blending eye brush and this is number 29 by Sephora Professional and it looks like this. It's just a fluffy brush and I use this a lot um, just to kind of blend colors into the crease and blend colors out and kind of soften colors. So um, yeah, I really, really like this and it's really soft. Okay, the next thing I have is um, foundation and it's been a really tough year, I guess I'd say, for foundation. I haven't found any foundation that I'm absolutely in love with, but I've found foundations that I reach for and that I use a lot. And the first one here is um, is a drugstore kind, and it is the Maybelline Super Stay Makeup in the Micro Flex Formula 24 Hour Wear and True Beige. Now, it's a lot darker than I am, but what I like to do is take the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup in... Um, one and one so I'm a neutral color ecru and I take this and put this all over my face and then I'll take the darker color and blend it out and kind of contour with the darker color and just um kind of you know blend it out but these I've been reaching for the most and I find that they work really really well together okay for concealers hands down this is my favorite concealer probably of all time and it's not even expensive at all it is the hard candy glamouflage heavy duty concealer and this is in the color light I wear this literally every day it's the best concealer I've ever had I've heard a lot of other people really love it and um, I actually haven't really even tried finding a different concealer this year because this is like hands down like the best concealer I've ever tried so I just haven't even like worried about high-end concealers or anything like that that is really 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 nice and it's long wearing um, it's not heavy but it's but it does last and it gives you the pigment of whatever you need to cover I use it under my eyes and stuff so really really love that okay as for um, powders this is what I've been using I don't use a lot of powder foundation or powders in general because I have drier skin but this is the Make It Forever HD High Definition Powder and this is just a smaller version of it but I use this after I apply my concealer to set my um, concealer under my eyes and um, I really really like this stuff it's not cakey it's really lightweight and it works really really well next thing I have are blushes now this is going to be um, a little bit harder for me I have a couple more than just one because I feel like with blushes you can go so many different ways you can go so neutral tone to so colorful to so bronzed and so like pink and peachy there's just so many options so um 
this was kind of a harder one for me to decide so I'm just gonna do the ones that I really really like and the ones I reach for a lot. Um, the first one is MAC Darkly My Dear, a matte powder blush. And this was from the Venomous Villains collection. And it looks like this. And it's a really weird color. Like, I wouldn't think, you wouldn't think looking at it, or I at least didn't really like it when I first saw it. But I really liked how it applied. And I really liked the color it actually was. So, limited edition. Another one is limited edition. Then this is the MAC uh, Misbehave Mineralized Blush, and this is from the Quite Cute Collection. And it looks like this. It has that silver heart in the middle. And this is a peachy blush, um, but I kind of use it sometimes as a highlight, too. I don't know if you guys are going to see it right there. No, probably not, but that was also a limited edition. And then one of their full-line MAC blushes was Dame, and it's a satin powder blush. And it's a really nice pink color. It's, um, it's not pinky pink it's not like a bright bubblegum pink but it's a nice toned down probably more of a cool uh, I don't know it's yeah it's more of a cool toned pink um so that's really nice I really like that and that's just like if you want to give your cheeks like a nice um splash of pink but not be like bubblegum or too pinky or light pink it's a, it's just a really nice pink color um okay and then I, you guys probably already know this, which just kind of goes into bronzer because I don't really wear a lot of bronzer. But if I'm going to wear bronzer, it's usually the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And I don't ever really touch the blush. As you can tell, I've hit pan on the bronzer. But I really, really like that. And I don't use it all over my face because it, it warms up and it um, oxidizes a little bit. So I pretty much just use it as like a blush and just for contouring my cheeks. I've um, talked about that before everybody's seen it. And then I just got this a couple days ago, but I'm already in love with it. And this is the NARS um, Duo with Sin and Casino. And I just talked about this the other day, so. But it has a nice bronzer, which is like their all-time favorite known bronzer is Casino. And then Sin, which is a mauve pink color. Love that. Okay, now for highlighters. Um, I don't really wear a lot of different kinds. I kind of switch back and forth between... MAC, like their mineralized skin finishes, but the one MAC one that I really, really love is their Soft and Gentle, and everybody's probably seen this or has this, so it's nothing new, but I really like it because it's a really flesh tony pink. It's pink, and it, it really is, but it, it's more flesh tone. It's a really light highlighting color, and I use it all the time. That's definitely one, and then this is a kind of a newer one that I've really been into, and when I wear bronzer, I tend to go for this one. It's a flesh toned Bron or a highlighter. So this is Fusion Soft Lights. Baked Starburst is the color and it's by Smashbox. And this came in like a free little kit thing from there. And this is a really nice highlighter. Like I said, it's a little bit more yellowy flesh tone, but I really like that. Eyeshadows. This is probably the most used eyeshadow palette, I guess you'd say, is obviously the Naked palette. Surprise, surprise, right? Um, I haven't really hit pan. I haven't actually hit any pans on these and I haven't, I haven't really put a big dent in any of them, but when I do wear them, I, I love them. Um, I wear this a lot for the highlighter. I really love Naked, I believe it's called, and Buck. They're, I wear those a lot because I kind of like the matter, matter? I kind of like the, the more matte look in the crease. And, um, Naked is a lot like, which is, Here's my MAC palette. Naked is a lot like Wedge from MAC. And um, so, I mean, either way, you can live with or without either one. But um, I really, really, really love those for eyeshadows. Um, I really love Woodwinked for a bronze color. Um, I really like Just for, like, a highlight color and stuff. So it's just it just varies with eyeshadows. It's very different. But my MAC and my Naked palette by Urban Decay are um, the most used palettes, I would say. Um, for eyeliner, I would have to say, for liquid eyeliner, because I'm obsessed with liquid, liquid eyeliner, um, this is the Milani Eye Tech Liquid Eyeliner in black, and this is, like, for real, the best liquid liner for such a good price I've ever used. If you're having a hard time trying to find liquid eyeliner that has a really nice felt tip and that is actually a black, a true dark black black I would totally suggest going for Milani you can find it at Walmart and Kmart and I don't know where else you can find it but they have a website so um, definitely try to check that out if you're trying to find like a really nice um, like I said liquid liner 
Um, I don't really wear pencil eyeliner because I feel like it runs a lot on me. So I usually wear um, gel or liquid. And for gel eyeliner, I've been using my Smashbox um, little palettes. And this one I got a really long time ago. And then this is a new one. So I'll show you. You can tell I've used all the purple and all the black out of them. But this is the best eyeliner for um, the lower lash line. It doesn't um, run down. It doesn't fade. And it just it's really long wearing. And then I got this new one. And this has them in circular things. And this um, has also like a brow side. So yeah, these are really, really nice. Okay, for mascara. This is always a tough one for me because I have really straight eyelashes. They're decently long, but they're never really... Um, they don't really curl very well, so I have to find kind of a, a little bit drier formulas. But um, for mascara, it's definitely my Buxom. I've talked about this a million times by um, Bare Essentials. Love it, love it, love it, love it. It has the best looking brush. Let me show you what the brush looks like. So wonderful. And it's not too wet of a formulation either. I mean, they dry out kind of fast, so I kind of use mascara more when it's a little bit drier. Um, for um, I have a lot of mascaras because I wear a lot of mascaras. And then I have my Ultra Flesh. I do really, really love this. And that's what it looks like. And for the last one, this is Milani's Distinct Lash Lengthening and Separating Mascara. And it looks like this. And that's what the little brush looks like. And this is like the last layer I'd put. This is what gives you the really defined, thick looking lashes. Buxom is definitely the best like separator for lashes. It really separates and gets them like, you know, it really gives them like definition as well. So really, 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 really love Buxom. I think that'll probably always be my holy grail for mascaras. Okay, for lip colors, I just picked out two that I actually reach for and wear a lot more than any of my other lipsticks. It was kind of a hard decision because I do wear a lot of other different colors and I wear a lot of other formulas and I wear, you know, I don't really wear a lot of lip gloss but I do wear a lot of lipsticks and um, like chapsticks and stuff. Um, so the first one I have here, it's Revlon, and it's the 440, it's a cream formula and it's cherries in the snow. And I've talked about this tons of times, but it looks like this, it's a really nice, the color's not gonna pick up how, how pretty it really is, but it's a really nice pinkier toned um, red, so it's not red red, it's not like a red, it's like a pinkier toned, dark really really pretty red and then the other lipstick I have here is the um, Lady Gaga Viva Glam Gaga it's a luster formula and this is the first one they came out with and I really really love the color pink that this is um, I don't think it should be limited and I know you can still get it now but I think you have to buy them with their like the newer Lady Gaga one so I'm not really sure but I love this lipstick I think the formula is really good and the color payoff is really really nice so, yeah, those are all my favorites for 2011. Sorry if this video went a little longer. I tried to cut it down and, like, narrow it down to, like, just the really, the things I really, really use. So, um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'd like to see your guys' favorites, too. Or leave comments below and let me know, like, what your favorites are. Because I love, you know, trying new products. And maybe I'll have some new favorites for 2012. So, I hope everybody has a really happy New Year's. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye.